Infectious disease experts are sounding the alarm that measles is on the rise across the nation. Several major cities are reporting outbreaks. So what are we seeing here in western Pennsylvania? Ross Gadotti talked to the experts and has some answers for us. When you think about measles, you have a tendency to think about some disease that was very, very prevalent a long time ago, but that is no longer the case. As a matter of fact, this potentially deadly and communicable disease has been found in Philadelphia, and Pittsburgh health officials say we need to be on the lookout for it here. This is what the measles virus looks like under a microscope, and this is what the measles virus can do to the human body once it's infected. It's no joke. Measles symptoms include high fever, may spike up to 104, cough, runny nose, red watery eyes, and a rash three to five days after symptoms begin. New York, Philadelphia, Chicago, they've all seen major measles outbreaks recently. As for Allegheny County, Allegheny Health Department Medical Director Dr. Barbara Nightingale says, we're doing really well in Allegheny County. Dr. Nightingale, however, believes when it comes to measles vaccinations. The numbers are very slightly going down over the last few years, uh, but overall we're doing a great job and we need to keep it up. The CDC says nationwide measles vaccination rates have gone down. There could be a few reasons for that, according to the agency, including general vaccination fears now, as well as the belief that measles shots somehow cause autism in children. No, there's no link to autism at all. The symptoms we mentioned earlier certainly aren't fun, but pale in comparison to what can happen to you once you're infected. Some of the more severe complications can be things like pneumonia or an infection in the brain. Dr. Nightingale says preventing you or your child from getting the measles is very simple. Just make sure you get your vaccine. The Allegheny Health Department says you can get measles vaccines through the health department. For more information, check out KDKA.com. In the Hill District, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.